Hi, and welcome to our Bible Art Channel, where we create art to remember the Lord and hopefully inspire you to play with your own God-given creativity. Today, let's paint for a beach scene with a dramatic sunset and maybe some textured sand. And we'll use our breath to paint the waves. Are you ready? First, I'm going to add some baking soda to my base mixture of Elmer's glue, water, and acrylic paint. There is no scientific method to the amount of baking soda I am adding to this mixture. I am just looking for a consistency that I can spread and that will have texture and still look close to sand. And this is going to be in the colors that I want my sand to be. The baking soda is going to add texture and it's also thicker than our paint pour is going to be. So I'm hoping it's going to give me a barrier so that my paint pour mixture doesn't cross over onto the sand. Notice I said hopefully, because we're always experimenting and practicing and trying new ideas. Practice makes progress. And if you saw my art studio right now, you'd know that it also makes a lot of mess. I'll just give this a good stir and spread it on the lower third of my acrylic paper. And then, yes, I'm gonna use my fingers. I am using acrylic paper today because I ran out of um, small canvases and I wanted to see if the can acrylic paper, which is much cheaper than a canvas, would hold up to the paint pour and um, be something that you guys could use in order. And um, I'm really liking the acrylic paper. So far, so good. I am really liking the texture that the baking soda gives the paint. And I think it does look like sand. Now let's work on the water area. I'll take the same mixture of 60% glue, 40% water, and then I'm just gonna add in acrylic paint to get the consistency that I like to use and for the color that I want it to be. But this time, I'm also going to add three to five drops of silicone oil to all the colors that I'm going to use from this point on. All right, now I'm gonna add those paint colors across my paper because the water makes horizontal lines if you're looking at it from the beach. This is also gonna help me create a horizon line, which is where your ocean and sky meet in this painting or your land and sky meet in a landscape. And this is going to give me that line so that I can come in later and add my sky colors. Yes, that is a butter knife that I am using to stir my baking soda and Elmer's glue paint mixture with. Um, keeping it real here, couldn't find anything to stir with. And a butter knife works just great. It's also something that you probably have in your kitchen too. And we're all about keeping this as simple as we can. This time I wanna combine or blend my paint with the best 10 paint brushes that God has given us, and that's my fingers. You could call this digital painting, right? All right, maybe not. Maybe that wasn't as funny. It's already looking like an ocean. I'm going to use my hair dryer on the hottest setting to bring up any cells um, or bubbles that I can get out of the glue, oil, and heat reaction. I don't want to blow this paint. I don't want to dry the painting. I'm just adding heat and that's it. Now, I'm gonna add some of that base with white paint and the silicone oil. And I'm going to blow through a straw to create waves. Just blow that white paint gently through the straw to create the ocean waves and how they crash at the shore and the bubbles they make and the tide. And let's see what happens. That is so fun and strangely satisfying. Now 
Now I'm going to add drama to my sunset sky. Have you noticed that every single day God paints the sky and it never looks the same? It is brand new every day. Isn't that amazing? I love when the colors are dramatic with pinks and oranges and purples. Don't you? I don't want to smear these colors together too much or blend them because I use complementary colors. That's um, colors that are crossed from each other on the color wheel. And if you blend complementary colors too, too much, they get muddy and they start turning brown. And I don't want a brown sky. Now we're going to add a little heat and we're going to create some more of those little sails. And that's it. We've got a dramatic paint pour, finger painting, wave blowing, beach sunset sky. We hope you were inspired to play with a new medium today and create your own dramatic sunset. And if you need more inspiration, just look outside tonight and see what God shows you. No one paints the sky better than he does. Until next time, be your unique self and forget not the Lord.